Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's career choices have been much in the news since they parted ways with Spotify, the alleged amicability of their separation somewhat undermined by the head of monetization, Bill Simmons, denouncing them as fucking grifters as the door slammed shut behind the couple. After it was revealed Harry and Meghan had blamed their woes on COVID, world events, and bad luck, Alison Boshoff, the male's veteran showbiz correspondent, has an analysis of what the future might hold for the couple and speculates that while Meghan will chase down commercial success, Harry never really wanted to be a podcaster or a TV executive and will refocus on helping people. Meghan, of course, has signed with Ari Emanuel at WME, which makes it clear she is still pursuing creative and commercial opportunities, Boshoff says, while Harry, she writes, is said to be gravitating back to charity and campaigning work, planning a return to Africa to film a documentary following in the footsteps of his mother. He also has his mental health causes, which have seen him take on the role of chief impact officer at coaching firm BetterUp and his involvement with the sustainable travel organization. Travelist, which he helped found in 2019 and has signed up TripAdvisor, Google, Booking.com, Visa, and Expedia to an environmental sustainability rating system. But, as Boshoff points out, for a couple who Meghan once said moved together like salt and pepper, these seem very bifurcated career paths. She suggests that their ambition to become a global humanitarian power couple seems, for the moment at least, to be on ice. Boshoff says that Meghan is now eyeing a string of commercial endorsements in fields meaningful to her, such as food, wellness, fashion and therapy, and a book, most likely with a feminist angle. It has previously been reported that Meghan is contemplating relaunching her old website, The Tig, with the aim of making it a Goop-esque lifestyle hub. Time will tell. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.